ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರೋದ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚ ಕಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುವ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮುಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದಿ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ್ಣ ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವನಮಿಷ್ಟೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ವೀತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪುನತುಪಾಲುಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾಧಿಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕೃಪಾಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೋ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಯುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದೀಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಬಾಬಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನುಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯುಭದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಭೀತ್ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
भवत विदा भगवत तीर्थिभूता स्वयं विभो तीर्थी कुरती तीर्था शांतस्तीन गदाभृता भवत विदा भगवत तीर्थिभूता स्वयं विभो तीर्थी कुरती तीर्था शांतस्तेन गदाभृता गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर भोपाल जगदगुरु टोल धर्मोधीगणर धर्म आचरण बद्ध जीव के अधिकतर बद्ध दशाय लइया जाए गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर भोपाल जगदगुरु टोल धर्मोधीगणर धर्म आचरण बद्ध जीव के अधिकतर बद्ध दशाय लइया जाए शिल पोपा टोल दोज हु आर द फ्लैग होल्डर ऑफ भागवत धर्मा दोज हु आर द फ्लैग होल्डर फ्लैग होल्डर ऑफ भागवत धर्मा दोज हु आर बिजी टू डिस्ट्रॉय भागवत धर्मा दे आर आचरण can lead their acharan can lead all bonded soul into more and more fallen condition into more and more fallen condition i know they are in fallen condition no doubt but they are going to fall down more and more and more those who are the flag holder those who are the flag holder of bhagavad dharma no acharan in the name of bhagavad dharma they like to destroy bhagavad dharma their acharan their external acharan you are ignorant you don't know you are going to follow them this is the condition of the whole world this is the condition of the whole world For why people, whole ignorant people, they are misled, totally misled. Papa speaking. Those who are going to speak about that absolute truth, at present common people don't like them. Those who are going to, those who are going to take lie pricks. Those who are going to take lie pricks. to speak about the absolute truth common people or so called version of society they don't like him they like to state agitation fighting court court case everything against him to put him in trouble to stop his absolute speech this is the dirty condition of our society one day popa told out of heavy heart out of heavy heart one day popa told when paramananda prabhu giving prasadam to popa noon time prasadam paramananda was speaking prabhu what you take you take prasadam i am coming i have some seva because usually popa taking prasadam lonely nobody can see pure vaishnav they are sleeping they are eating they are saucha karma you have no right to see if you see you can have material conception that's why they like to save you after long time parmananda bhava entered the room bhajan kutir of popa and become shocked popa they were not taking prasadam for long time i am giving prasadam to you you are not taking but what you are thinking what you are looking at in garden popa looking at garden what you are looking for long time i give you prasadam you are not taking what you are looking popa told i am looking that all your luck burnt up i am looking i am looking how this sampraday how this how this sampraday not genuine sampraday the 
Those who are genuine sampradaya, they are bhakti mitra, popa, they are In the name of sampradaya, they are doing something. Papa speaking, I am looking that you all are going to burn up your luck. Your luck burn up. I wanted to give so many things. I wanted to give so many things. But you all are monkey. Monkey always and then banana. I wanted to give you jewel. I wanted to go deep into the ocean. I wanted to go deep into the ocean of, you know, bhajan, you know, kingdom. I wanted to go deep into the ocean to collect jewel and everything for you. But you all are monkey. That's why you are, you are always busy to collect banana. Banana is very important for you, very valuable for you. There is a condition. If I am going to reach the lotus feet of Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj, if I am going to reach the lotus feet of Bangshidat Babaji Maharaj, then I need not think about my sampradaya. Because at the lotus feet of Bangshidat Babaji Maharaj, at the there is so many, so many, so many sampradaya societies standing. Our Prabhupada also. Prabhupada's paramangsha, topmost paramangsha. But purposefully, purposely wanted to take the responsibility of Acharya. Sometime I am thinking, I am in Vyasasan, I am thinking, I like to throw everything and go away. I have no self-interest, why should I fight with people? I should throw everything and go. Because Bhagavan knowing how much I love my Sampradaya. If I am going to reach the platform of Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj, if I am going to reach the lot, you know, lotus feet of Bhangshidas Babaji Maharaj, you can discover under the lotus feet of Bhangshidas Babaji Maharaj, under the lotus feet of Gaur Kishore Bhaj Maharaj, Bhangshidas Bhaj Maharaj, under the lotus feet of Bhakti Minut Thakur, there is countless authentic sampradaya. Countless. Countless authentic sampradaya. But men are Gauriya sampradaya. They are there. All proper adjustment there. But so long as you are in bonded condition, so long as you are in bonded condition, you will have to follow Sampradayak Acharya, authentic Acharya. If you have been following idiot Acharya, who has no idea about Siddhanta Vichar, nothing, no efficacy, nothing, you naturally, you have the right to fight with me. Because I give answer to your Gurudev. You are writing wrong. You are writing wrong! Janma Basuta, is that Nitya eternal Sakti of Nityananda? But your idiot Gurudev speaking, they are actually not Gurudev. They are actually not, you know, they are actually disciple. This is the status of your Gurudev. Whole life you are busy with, you know, court case, everything. They are going to help with all the followers. That's why you have your right. I confess you have your right to fight with me. You have your right. You can try your best to stop my Harikatha. This is the condition. If this kind of had, if this kind of condition not going to happen, then I could not get the naked picture of our society. It's very good for me. Then I can see the what is the condition. They, they, they set up Vishwa Vishnu Prasava. They set up Vishwa, you know, you know, Gauriya Vishnu society for their personal end. Not to protect the interest of, not to protect the interest of Gauriya Mat. I mean, Vyasasana and sitting. I cannot speak lie. 
Today or tomorrow they can die. Today or tomorrow they can finish everything. Their life finish. Already finish. A Sampradayang Acharya can be known by his activity. A Sampradayang Acharya is known by his authentic activity. How far, how much he is interested to protect Guru Yavishnam society. There, you know, without changing all Siddhanta which are literature there. By this, how much he is, you know, interested to stop wrong pitching this way. A perfect Acharya can be known. A, a, perfect, a perfect Acharya can never be known by the, by the issue, by the, you know, mood of adjustment. Well, what they are doing, okay, we must adjust. No! No! In my mind, if something happening, I protest thousands of times. If they are not going to live, they are going to obey. If they are going all babichar, I am going to live. Because my mot is there inside my heart. I can tear my heart and show you. My Guru Path Padma Chaitanya Maharaj sitting inside my heart. Yoga feet. I need not stay with you. Up to my last breath, I cannot make any compromise with you all. You can try to kill me. You can arrange gunda everything against me. You can try. You can insult me. They're putting poster outside. I'm a cheater. Everything. This is the sampradaya condition, naked picture. All busy with their own protection of their own body and dirty picture. Protect. This is the condition. Prabhupada told those who are the flag holder of Bhagavad Dharma, those who are the flag holder of Bhagavad Dharma, they are not following Bhagavad Dharma at all. What to speak about following Bhagavad Dharma? They are, going to, they are busy to destroy Bhagavad Dharma. And they are going to guide thousands of people. With those followers, that guru, that leader, they all can go to hell. All they can go to hell. And Prabhupada speaking, those who are going to follow them, those who are followers, Bonded soul naturally in bonded condition. Baba speaking. Those who are the flag holder of Bhagavad Dharma, their acharan, their wrong acharan can mislead common people. They can go to more and more in a fallen condition. At present, those who are going to speak about their absolute truth, common people cannot accept them, cannot worship them. They can fight. In the name of Harikata Kirtan, those who are going to mislead people, misguide people. This is the natural phenomenon, this is the natural you know, adjustment of this material one. In, in the name of Harikata Harikirtan, those who are going to misguide you. This is the condition of this present world. They can accept you. They can wash your lotus feet, give garland to you, to go to hell. They can give garland, wash your lotus feet. Pure Vaishnav don't speak that today is my Abhir Bhaktiti. Pure Vaishnav never say they like to fly. They don't like to take any garland, any sweet, anything from you. Follow. There is a condition. The sloka I started with. Is very important sloka. Sila Yudhishthir Maharaj. Sila Yudhishthir Maharaj speaking to Vidurji Maharaj. Shangur Narada Shambhu Kumar Kapilo Manu Pralad Visma Janako Valir Vayasakir Vayam Dada Saiti Vijanimo Dharma Bhagavatam Bhata Guyam Vishuddham Durvadhyam Yad Gyatpa Amrita Mashnute. It is written in Bhagavatam. Yudhishthir Maharaj, after a long time, going to meet with Vidurji Maharaj. 
After a long time, Yudhishthir Maharaj is going to meet with Vidyuji Maharaj because Vidyuji Maharaj at the time of Kurukshetra battle, he, he didn't like to stay here. That's why he went to different pilgrimage. He went to different pilgrimage. After a long time, when he got information that Purikrita battle is right over, he took trouble to come to Hastinapur to bless all, to bless all the devotees there. And after long gapping, our Yudhishthira Maharaj is going to meet with Viduji Maharaj, shedding tears and paying prostrate down the words and crying, We are your child. We are your child. How you how you leave us and gone? We are protected all the time. Every now and then, every now and then, we are protected by you. We cannot forget your. We cannot forget your affe affection. We cannot forget how you leave us. How you leave uh, us? How you forget affection for us? That time, Yudhishthir Maharaj was informed that Vijayudhi Maharaj coming. At once, Vijayudhi Yudhishthir Maharaj throw everything. At once, at once, Yudhishthir Maharaj throw everything, and running to meet with father. His father, na? Almost father. Almost father. Father gone. Is he also second father? More than father. Because father gone from the world. All the responsibility of father done by Vidurji. Niskinchan. So this much rise from you, from him, from him. This way collecting anti. Same way I am leading my life. This much rise from different house. Then cook and took. This is the condition. I like to lead my life on the basis of Madhukuri. In Vrindavan also for a long time, I was bringing chapati from Brahman house, very pure. Now you make society this, that. But mind is, but mind is always indifferent. My mind is always, I like to throw everything. But I cannot throw. I love you all, that's why I cannot throw. After all, I cannot violate the instruction of Prabhupada. The reason for why I came from Vindavan. The reason, all Vaishnava speaking, it is your responsibility. Because Guru Maharaj give you Bani Sheva. Why you live and stay in forest? Surya Gunda here, there, why? It is not good for you. I say I cannot make any politics what to do. You can go and start your Seva. Then I started. So, Vidurji Maharaj, in front of Vidurji Maharaj, Yudhishthira Maharaj speaking, Bhavad Vida Bhagavataha Tirsi Bhuta Swayam Vibho. Hey Prabhu, you are going to pilgrimage? You are going to different pilgrimage? Whereas you yourself is pilgrimage. I am not making any story. The lotus feet of pure Guru Vishnu, itself pilgrimage. You can find all the all the pilgrimage there in the Lord, but you are blind. You cannot see. You like to run here, there. Chanchal. But you cannot believe. It is really written in Sastra. I can show you. In Guru Guru Charan, Vaishnav Charan. Guru means Vaishnav. In Guru Charan, all the pilgrimage. Yes. And our Narottamudagur also told you, can remember? Tirtha Yatta Parisham Sakali Manir Ram Sarvasiddhi Govindu Charan. Narottamudagur told. You are taking trouble to go to Vivirayam pilgrimage. 
For Vrindavan, you have to spend 60,000 more than that. But you cannot travel like me without fear. No fear. TT coming, check up, okay, you can go. <laughs> you are free. <laughs> Our Krishna Bhaji Maharaj, you know? Krishna Bhaji Maharaj, Niskinchan, used to do bhajan in Nandogram. In Nandogram. One day, he was in a hurry. He liked to go to Vrindavan for bhajan. He now, without knowing, he get into Rajdhani Express. <laughs> without ticket. Rajdhani Express. Then finally, Titi going to, Baba, where is your ticket? Where is your ticket? The Hare Krishna. After that, speaking something in English, some Harikatha, Titi going, you have the right to bore. Rajdhani Express. Those who are idiot, those who are idiot, they are traveling by Rajdhani and plane. But you have the right. You can go free. No problem. Follow. Now at present, devotees, they cannot allow me to go free travel. At present, they buy ticket for me forcefully. They help me to get trained. My whole life, I was living life this way. Follow. So, <coughs> so Bhavad Vida Bhagavataha Tirthi Bhuta Swayam Vivo. You yourself is a pilgrimage. Why are you are going to take travel in different pilgrimage? But the reason is this you like to recharge the Tirtha. You are trying to recharge your mobile, no? Nah? Eh? You are going to recharge your mobile. Similarly, those devotees, they are Bhagavan sending them, Bhagavan sending them to different pilgrimage to recharge. But why discharge? You know? But all, all sinful activities going on there. All sinful criminal activities going on different pilgrimage. Like in Mayapur, you search, so much criminal activities going. This kind of criminality you can find outside, but secretly. Going. Mayapur, Vrindavan. Externally, but it is not in Vrindavan. They cannot touch Navadip Vrindavan. What I mean to say, those pure devotees, they are going to purposely going to different pilgrimage, like Madhavendu Puripad, going to different pilgrimage to recharge that, to recharge that pilgrimage. Because this Tirtha pilgrimage become, you know, tarnished, you know, dirty. They are making so much dirty, dirty activities. So those pure devotees, they have no personal interest. They are going to different pilgrimage to purify, to purify the Tirtha. So that all other people going to take bath in Ganga, Jamuna, Saraswati, Elehava, they are different places. They are, so pure devotees, they are going to recharge. So, Yudhishthir Maha speaking, Bhavad Vida Bhagavataha Tirsi Bhuta Swayam Vibho. You yourself is Tirtha. You yourself, you yourself is Tirtha. How you are going to take trouble with different places? Okay, we know. Tirthi Kurvanti Tirthani Santasteno Gadavrita. Why and how? Why and how those pure devotee can recharge Tita? But actually, Bhagavan is there sitting inside there. Bhagavan is also sitting inside my Okay. But not that, not active way, passive way. Bhagavan is there inside your heart as Paramatma Super Soul that I know. But all, that also not directly. In passive form. But inside the heart of pure devotees, Bhagavan saying, what North Muthakur writing? What North Muthakur writing? What North Muthakur writing? North Muthakur writing? Bhaktir Hidaya Shata Govinda Vishram. Inside the heart of the pure devotee, Bhagavan can take rest. Inside your heart can say you are giving pain. By Kama, Krodha, Anartha, you are giving pain and pain to Bhagavan. By inside the heart of a pure devotee, there is no pain, no kama, krudha, nothing. That's why Bhagavan 
taking rest. Nautamura go writing the Siddhanta, Bhakti Hidwai Sada Govindu Vishram. Govindu can take rest inside the heart of devotee. Or you're running on and you're running here and there, all misconception of your mind. Because you have no information. The all Siddhi, all Siddhi is there under the lotus feet of Govinda, Gauranga, or Guru Gauranga, more precisely. You don't know, all Siddhi, all, all Siddhi resting under the lotus feet of Govinda, under the lotus feet of Guru, under the lotus feet of Gauranga, under the lotus feet of Go, under the lotus feet of Govinda, Gauranga, and Nityananda, Guru, Guru Varga. All Tirtha, all different pilgrimage resting there. So you are foolish. So unnecessary you become very sad. You like to run here to waste your money and okay, in bonded condition you should run a little bit. Without spending energy. If you are going to spend energy for Guru Vaishnava, you can get bhakti. Mayadevi cannot allow you to do. Mayadevi, Mayadevi always planning. Mayadevi, all, Mayadevi, Prabhupada speaking. Mayadevi always planning. Mayadevi always planning the situation in such a way that you can get deviated from bhakti. Prabhupada speaking. Mayadevi always making the program in such a way so that you are bound to you are bound to fall down. Mayadevi making different program. Mayadevi making different pro website, internet, or naked picture, everything in web you can get. All Mayadevi making different plotting. So that Mayadevi can deviate you from bhajan. Prabhupada speaking. That is why fighting. Otherwise, why they are fighting? This is a condition. Very good. This condition is very good. I give salute, though I am going to lose so many seva, so many harikata in between. Six harikata I cancel in between. Today, tomorrow, previous day, all cancel. But no time, I will have to run. There is a condition. Prabhupada speaking, Mayadevi planning the program in such a way that you can lose your bhajan. Because at all, if you are going to give you energy for Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan, then automatically you can come out successful in your So surely Mayadavi cannot allow you. Ah, Mayadavi cannot allow you. But you are going to hold on. If you are going to hold on the lotus feet of Guru Vaishnava, okay, let me see how much force Mayadavi apply. Finally, Mayadavi is going to get defeated. Mayare Koriya Jai, Charano Na Jai, Sadhu Guru Kipa Bina Nadi Without kipa of Sadhguru Vishnu, full blessing. No way out. You cannot get victory over Maya. Maya Devi, Maya Devi willingly, Maya Devi willingly, Maya Devi herself willingly can leave you. Okay. Because in Bhagavatam, Bhagavan Sri Krishna giving advice to Uddhav. Uddhav, those who are going to, those who are going to do Hari Bhajan, The last advice of Krishna to Uddhav, I was speaking in Hindi, whole Kartik Vrata. Very nice, if you understand, you can go mad. One Harikatha, Kartik Vrata, can change your whole life. You never heard. Hindi, very sweet, a play. Follow what I say. Bhagavan Sikh is now speaking to Uddhav, Uddhav. Finally, Mayadavi can. Leave you, but not before. Bhagavan Sri Krishna was speaking to Uddhav, Uddhav, those who are taking resolution, Uddhav, those who are going to take resolution to do Kish, to Krishna Seva, Hari Bhajan, all demigods and Mayadavi can kick you. Huh? From kick here to there, here to there, kick always, like football. Finally, if they discover, he has tremendous love for Guru Vaishnava. 
Without Guru Vaishnava, he cannot, he or she cannot live. If they can discover, then they can bless you. Go ahead. Okay. First of all, no entry. No entry in Hari Bhajan. Stay outside. After that, when they are going to discover the abnormal, extra extraordinary quality in you for Guru Bhajan, love for Guru Vaishnava, they can open the gate, you go. They can allow you entry. Not before that. In the whole world, if eight, 800 crores, how many? I don't know. 800 crores, approximately. 800 crores people. The, I can make a comb operation. Whole population. I can save you one, two, three, four, or not. I mean, with respect to that 800 population, crores, if you make one, two, four, five, or ten, no figure can come. Point zero 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 one percent. This is called Krishna Bhajan. But of course, I am going to give you inspiration. Of course, I am going to give you inspiration. If you are sincere, if you are authentic, you can get entry into Hari Bhajan. Otherwise, you can stay outside. It matters little. It matters little whether you are from Russia. It matters little whether you are from German. It matters little. It's not a big issue. It's not a big issue. Even animal. I can show you. Tomorrow I can discuss Ram, Ram Chandra. I can show you those animals. They're getting highest benefit. Oh, Prema. Ram Chandra going to embrace Hanuman. Jamuvan. Kiss them. Hari. I am a man. I am a reformed Warang Otang. I identify myself as a man, but I am a reformed war Warang Otang. I am not man. Bhagavan can go keep on us. Bhagavan, there is no restriction. Only restriction, there should be there should be sincerity, loveful attitude inside us. Do bhajan from heart. I promise you. Do bhajan. Believe me. Don't, you know, try to get any bad association in your life. It's the main problem. Tomorrow I can discuss. We already published in internet, but still tomorrow I can discuss. Asa Sangha is a big problem. Impediments. Mentally or physically. Anyway, Inside the heart of devotees, Bhagavan is resting. Inside my heart, Bhagavan not resting? No. How? Our Guru Varga giving one example. Like somebody making in Paramanna, very nice Paramanna, very tasty. Pure Indian cow milk, very tasty. With kazu, kismis, and very costly rice is used, and candy or very nice gur, molasses available in the winter time. We are making. Paramana is so tasteful. When I first came from Bindavan, there was no pot for me to cook rice, nothing, penniless. Somebody, some old lady, devotee, give me pot. I make Paramana. And in Kartik Purnima, I was pit, putting on roof side. Because I heard from South Indian Sadhu that if you put Paramanna on rooftop, whole night Chandrama, I mean moon, God can give Amrita. Now today I am not doing long ago, 16 years back. Morning, I was expecting some cat can come and touch, but no cat coming. But the morning time, if you are going to take one drop of that paramana, there was no money. No kaju, no kismis, nothing. But if you are going to take that paramana, you can go mad. Because Bhagavan took first, after the Chandrama, Amrita took, Amrita giving. 
So this way actually, tomorrow I can prove everything. Ram Chand, uh, Ram Nami, actually. So, one man making Paramana very nicely, very nice. After making, uh, he is giving Boga. After that, some, I uh, know, some devotee, pure devotee, he is serving first. He is taking the Paramana. Thut, thut, thut. What happened? There are so many stone chief. Stone chip? How possible? Because some stone chip is just like rice particle. Just like rice particle. The, the man devotee don't know. He is going to cook. This example is very good. So you are, you're, you have different, you have different kind of anartha. Okay, na? Kama, kudhavi. What to do you are? But with this condition, in this condition, you are cooking. The same example I can apply. You are cooking, you are cooking very carefully. But you have your kama, krodha, all anartha inside. So if you are going to offer the bhakti, if you are going to offer the bhakti to Bhagavan, Bhagavan say, oh, <coughs> there is so much stone chip. Like the Paramana, that the man don't know. There is a stone chip inside, just like rice. He cannot throw, so tasty. He cannot swallow. He cannot swallow, he cannot throw. And so tasty. Bhagavan seeking, you are doing bhakti, I know. But that bhakti is not tasteful for me. I cannot accept. It's full of anartha. Today, is the Abhirbhav Tithi of Srila Bhakti Vallabha of Tithi Goswami Maharaj. Externally, we know he is the second Acharya after Srila Bhakti the Madhu Goswami Maharaj. But I like to introduce you, I like to introduce with you, with Bhakti Vallabha of Tithi Goswami Maharaj. You only know he was the second Acharya of Chaitanya Namah. This much you know. All in details you have no information. You have no information. Why I never speak that Bhakti Vallabh Tittu Goswami Maharaj is my God brother? Why I don't speak? You have no information. You have no information why I don't speak that Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Maharaj is, not God, is my God brother? Why I don't speak? You have no information. So I like to clarify this point. Not only he is the Acharya of Chaitanya Gauriyamat, he is also my Acharya. He is not, they are going to make some particular. But I think Chaitanya Gauriyamat is my mat. Chaitanya Gauriyamat, Chaitanya Mat, all my mat. But they don't, because I am speaking about Prabhupada. They have no enmity with me, on the only issue. They cannot discover any point. Only one that I am speaking about Prabhupada, naked truth. Follow what I say. So, what is the reason why I speak Bhakti Vala of Tittu Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Vigan Bharti Maharaj? They are my guru. One day in Kishanagar Mart, I am in Basasan. One day in Kishanagar Mart, there is function. There was Harikata function, yearly function. I've been there so many times. But when Tithu Goswami Maharaj is there, I don't like to speak. But Bharti Maharaj forcefully give me. Now our Sam Baba can speak. So I'm bowed. But I don't like to speak in front of them. They are so elevated, I am fallen so. Anyway, Tithu Maharaj, in, inside his room, I go and pay Dandavad and talking with him. Because that time so much restriction was not there. That time, so my regard, you are like 12, 15, 12, 13 years, 14 years back. Not so restriction. Tithu Goswami used to sit with us in Asan, we used to talk. But at present, they keep Tithu Maharaj inside room. They don't allow. Anyway, maybe all the health, health ground. He is talking with me. I am talking with him. 
I say, you are my guru. No, I am not your guru. You are my godfather. No, I am not godfather. You are my guru. This way, discussion going on. I learned so many things from your character, behavior, your perseverance, your enduring power. This Chitta Goswami Maharaj, his enduring power going to revive me today. In place of me, any Acharya, any you or are, you are anybody, we have to die. Heart fell. I am living still today because I have one example in front of me of Tito Maharaj. How much perseverance, how much you know, enduring power I have seen in the life of Bhakti of Tito Maharaj. You cannot expect. You cannot expect. It is one kind of story, allegory for you. It's one kind of allegory for you. He is speaking, you can go with me to America for preaching. I'm Maharaj, I'm a fallen soul. I cannot go. It's a country of Maya. I cannot go. No, you can go with me with an honor. No, I cannot go. I have no quality to go to America. <laughs> I have no quality to go to America. You can go with me. No, no, I cannot go. Maya can catch me. <laughs> Maharaj nothing. Really, I am bound to confess that I have received, not have received, still today I am receiving kipa. I have received, I cannot say. Still today, continue. I have been receiving kipa from Bhakti Vallakti Tugusi Maharaj, Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Maharaj. From up, from up they are watching me, blessing me. Some of his disciples on the same ground, they started fighting with me. They cannot allow me to speak Harikatha. With tears, with tears rolling down on my cheeks, I wrote one letter to Bhakti Vallabh Goswami. Not directly, through one devotee. In letter I wrote, I promise by touching this Vrindavan Dham, I am the only person to get your kipa. None of your disciples can get. I touch Vrindavan Dham too. So much confidence. I know it is one kind of testing in my life, whole life this kind of testing. Everywhere in my life, in my mod, any mod I go, Chaitanya, anywhere, same problem. Why are you speaking this way? Same problem. No other com complain against me. Why are you speaking this way? Everywhere. I had to live from Gokul Mahavan, from Chaitanya Guriman, Vindavan, here, there. everywhere. They arrange the situation in such a way so that I can go away. Whole life. Like vagabond. Like vagabond, my life. But now Bhagavan giving me everything. I never expected this kind of honor, what all you are giving all over the world. But still getting, it cannot touch my heart. I wrote one letter. I wrote one pram, pranam mantra in the, in the year of 19, I had 2014, I think, in Chandigarh. 14 or 16, I think. Uh, uh, no, two, uh, 2000, 2004 or 5. 2000, I just speak opposite. I was speaking calculation about Gosala. I have to submit documents now. So this coming to me. 2004 or 5, in Chandigarh, there was Abhir Bhaptiti. I wrote one Pranam Mantra about Tita Maharaj, but I was not important personality. I am not giving bribe, so they don't approve my... No, there is no mistake. There is very... But they approve one, you know, Pranam Mantra, written by another, another, you know, sannyasi. He is now gone from this world. He is making politics. So that they don't accept the Sambhava's Pranam Mantra, they accept. He is now fall down from roof and die. He make politics. But I send a Pranam Mantra to Tita Maharaj with one small note. On those days, I was thinking some thoughts coming inside my heart which took the form of Pranam Mantra. I look, Tita Maharaj is very happy. That Pranam Mantra is there with me. Still today. Anyway, 
this pranam mantra i can tally with the glorification done by judishir maharaj just i, I told na eh bhavat vida bhagavata tirthi bhuta swayam vibho tirthi kurvanti tirthani shanta stena gadabrita same way I, I wrote one book in the 100 years in a and the 50 years completion of sanyas 50 years completion of his sanyas teta maharaj i publish one book but those disciples they are not helping me they are not helping me they are not giving they are not supplying me they are not supplying me with uh, some know how no, no. even from my mouth when i was supposed to write the life history of guruma they are not giving me diary anything so that i cannot write if I write, then forever public and say Sambhava is the writer of. So they don't know. They are dirty politics everywhere. But anyway, I wrote by the mercy of Guru Maharaj. Very small note. It was published in America also here, Bengali. But for America, they are not publishing fully because I have no importance. They publish at the last of the page. Whole. Oh, okay. I am a fallen soul. This way, I wrote one book, In Search, what is the name of the book? In, in Search of a Real Pilgrimage. I wrote a book, what is the name of the book? In Search of a Real Pilgrimage. In Bengali, Konu Ek Vastav Tirthe Shandhane, in Hindi, Koi Ek Vastap Tirtka Shandhan Me. Hindi. I translated only. English I couldn't get time. Anyway, there I wrote all the important incidents in the life of Tirtha Goswami But I couldn't translate in English, no time. So many pending jobs, have so many problems. They don't allow, they don't like to allow me to do seva. On those last, you know, one month, how much seva I lose, you don't know. Only Harikatha I am speaking. When they allow me to sit in Vyasasan, then you cannot understand what is happening. Then automatically Harikatha comes. Follow. So, Maharaj took birth in Assam. Maharaj took birth in Assam. But actually, he was from a very high family. He was from a very high family. His title was uh, his title was uh, Thakurata, Guho Thakurata. His title was Guho Thakurata. Guho Thakurata. His title was. There. Very important family. Near his previous home, there was one very important Shivji Maharaj. Near his temple, near his house, there was one very important Shivji Maharaj. Very often, very often he used to run to Shivji Maharaj and give water like me. I also used to do from childhood. I used to love Sivji, I don't know why. You took good water, giving portrait of Sivji. <laughs> I love Bhagavan, but I used to love Sankaras. A small, five years boy, seven years boy, the portrait of Bhagavan Siv this way. He used to go to Siv Mandir, give water without taking prasadam. Where the boy gone? Where the boy gone? Where the boy gone? All Father Mother Sachi. Finally, they discovered he is a Sib Mandir. This is Finally, they discover he is Sib Mandir. They don't like to disturb him, but in front of Maharaj there is big, big snack, big snack, long snack, two snack coming here, and and Sibji Maharaj there, Maharaj sitting. This way, from the begin, very beginning of his life, it was the indication that he is not ordinary man. 
He is the eternal person of Bhagavan. I am going to cut short because time, if I go on five hours, four hours, time cannot permit. So I have to go, appointment there. So, one day, one day, because we know our, because we know our Bhakti Vedanta Madhukusi Maharaj used to go to Assam for preaching, you know, no? He used to go to Assam for preaching all the time. One day, one day, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Madhukusi Maharaj going for preaching in Assamese village and Tito Maharaj coming from school. Tito Maharaj coming from school. Tito Maharaj discover some red saffron cloth there in the rooftop of some Grihasa devotee. He has very curiosity. Curiosity developed. Ah, where is this Grihasa life? Why there is? Oh, some sadhu must be coming. Let me check up. Hey, going. In, in your house, some sadhu coming? Yes, yes. I like to meet you, sadhu. Ah, evening time, Harikatha, you must. Yes, I can come. Now I can pay Randavad. There was a first meeting with uh, Bhakti Vala Sittamana Burid. His Brahmachari name was Krishna Vallabh Brahmachari. Our Bharati Maharaj, Narottama Brahmachari. Krishna Vallabh Brahmachari. Krishna Vallabh Brahmachari dancing because evening time we can hear Harikatha, we have the scope. And Madhav Goswami used to do Kirtan also. As a tall figure. If if, if our if our bhakti if our if our um, bhakti is going to do kirtan, all people can go mad. So tall figure, so nice looking. Evening time after school back, changing clothes, everything taken for seven coming. That was the first you know meeting uh, after looking at bhakti vidya madhugusima, his heart was already sold. After looking at Bhakti Madhukusi, his heart was sold. He was sold that day. Then he took decision. What to do, how to do, how to fly away, how to go away from home. But father and mother, they cannot allow. His mother was so beautiful. His mother, sister, I meet with sister. Bhakti Vala is his sister. I meet with him. He used to say in Calcutta, but I see him. So beautiful looking. Very high family. And Maharaj finally took decision after graduation, complete everything, MSc, MCOM, I think. Uh, nah, uh, uh, nah, MSc, na, MA in philosophy, not mathematics. Finally, he took decision. I think English was his subject. Finally, he took decision to make a to do a course of, you know, do a course of you know, judge, you know, legal judge. You know, he took admission in Calcutta University. Calcutta University, there was one legal department, law department. In the meantime, he is going to meet with. One great devotee, great devotee. He is a disciple of Prabhupada. He came to meet with Bhakti Vita Madhu Goswami Maharaj, and there was discussion between that devotee, I mean the disciple of Prabhupada, and Assamese. He, he know Assamese. You know, they are speaking in Assamese language. In Assamese language is very sweet language, but you cannot understand, I can understand something. I understand Uriya language fully, but Assamese language I understand, but I can understand, but they, they speak very slowly. If they, you know. One day I was I was speaking Harikatha in Assam, Guwahati, and they are driving car after Harikatha, and there is one banner, almost in Bengali language. Assamese language, almost in Bengali, but not Bengali. You can read. If you know Bengali, you can read. 
but pronunciation peculiar. <laughs> I, I read, what is the meaning? Akwai lakpam. Akwai lakpam, it is written. And what is the meaning? I, I ask the diver, but it means very shortly we can meet you again. <laughs> I was laughing. Akwai lakpam. And then what is it? And they like to say, they again, we can meet with, meet with you again. <laughs> Very good. I am very happy. I was speaking Harikatha in Assam. Vishnu Maharaj, a great disciple of uh, um, uh, uh, no, Kesav Goswami Maharaj. He was a Siddha Mahatma. He was a Siddha Mahatma, Vishnu Maharaj. He was, previously he was freedom fighter. He used to love me, I cannot say why. He used to love me in such a way. If I write one book, big cannot compile. He's so senior. Sambhava coming? Then I can go. A devotee say, you can go, ma. no, my body is very well. Sambhava coming. Sambhava coming? I can go. I can go. From distance ways, I went to the border of Assam and Bengal, Kumargaon. Maharaj took information and coming from Assam. Assam is just border, cross. He coming from long distance, he watching me, running, running, and bless me. Ah, you will have to go to my temple. Maharaj, this time I cannot go, because I probably promised them. No, you have to, I can go someday. That I promised him, but I could not keep promise, because Maharaj live body. But I could keep promise. After he gone, I went there to speak Harikatha. That Harikatha is there, in Bengali, because Assamese people don't understand Hindi. I speak, I keep my promise, I went there to speak Harikatha. He used to take all my Harikatha, collect and distribute. You hear, you hear, you hear Harikatha. Someday I can bring him to you. But now, so still today I am living because I am enjoying the full kripa of those Vaishnav, like Parthi Goswami Maharaj, Tittu Goswami Maharaj, you know. Bamun Goswami Maharaj, Bamun Goswami Maharaj, Nayanananda Prabhu, Nayanananda Prabhu, a disciple of Prabhu, Nayanananda Maharaj, Nayanananda Babaji Maharaj, eh? Tibika Maharaj. So many. I am so lucky. When I came, there were so many Prabhupada. After that, they died yeah, immediately. Nayanananda Babaji Maharaj. I know. There was one Mah Sotta Govinda Maharaj. Sotta Govinda Maharaj. He used to hear the, you know, uh, uh, the sound of leg, leg ring of Radharani. <coughs> she used to love me. I got the chance to serve his lotus feet. His whole body develops scabies. Scabies. I take him, I open copin and so many. In my life I never had. So I don't know why. Follow. So many devotees. In our table, there was a two Maharaj, he was a disciple of Prabhupada. Two. I got their keep. So many. There was one disciple of Srila Bhakti Vila Goswami Maharaj. So oh, elevated devotee. He used to love me. So, see, in, the, in, in this age, in my age, in my this kind of age, this kind of huge pratishta not possible. I wonder. In my this age, what kind of pratishta Guru Maharaj, Guru Varga giving me to, to cheat me? I know. That's why I don't touch. Giri Maharaj. All, so big, big devotees. So many devotees. Their keep I got. So, the name of the book was <coughs> In Search of a Pure, In Search of a Real Pilgrimage. I wanted to mean Srila Bhakti Valla Tittu Goswami Maharaj is a real pilgrimage. If we go and take bath in his, you know, in his Harikatha of life, life, you know, 
life history of Prakita Jivan Darshan, if we take bath in his Harikatha, then we can become a great devotee. <coughs> That time, that the disciple of Sila Prabhupada, his name, uh, I forget his name, always I speak, Shatish, no, 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 Shatish, no, Keshav, uh, Keshav Prabhu, I remember. If I, meet, if I meet you 25 years back, till you say, who am I, I can speak you. <coughs> but not like Bharati Maharaj, Bharati Maharaj is exceptional. <laughs> <laughs> I can compare, cannot. <coughs> Keshav, was, Keshav Prabhu. Keshav Prabhu was in ordinary base. He never took Brahmacharya base, sannyas. My whole life serving Prabhupada and Madhav Maharaj. Keshav Prabhu. Very Assamese people. I went to his house in Assam <coughs> where Prabhupada, Sarbhog, Sarbhog, you know? Sarbhog. Sarbhog. Prabhupada, Prabhupada established more than Sarbhoga Sam. There I also went. Devotee take me in car. <coughs> then Kesha Prabhu, discussing with this plain hearted, with this very plain hearted boy, no complicacy. His name is, you know, Krishna Kesha Brahmachari. Prabhu, you are reading, you know, legal courts. Then if you become one judge in a court, then you can get honor, but you don't forget that all the time people can come and complain against you. He is going to murder him, murder that lady. You want to do steal this? All you have to hear all this. Kesab Maharaj, Kesab Prabhu is his star position. Our Bharatima is to say, Kesab Prabhu, his star position is sad. He cannot speak sastra. But on the basis of Shastra, you can speak one or two words, you can change your heart. Even some Mayavadi fighting with Kesav Goswami, our, um, some Mayavadi fighting with the Madhav Goswami Maharaj. In between Kesav Maharaj speaking, my Guru Bhai, I can speak something, well you can see. How wonderful, one, one or two, five words speaking and he defeated. No educated, no highly educated. His star position is that if he is going to put any argument, you have no right to cut. So he is going to say, My son, my boy, you are going to take a course of legal course. Well, very good. You are very educated, very nice looking. But what use? Now I can become judge. You can become judge. The government can give you salary, but you will have to hear that man coming to and you know, kill my wife. He is a murder case, this rape case, this they always going. You have to hear. Oh, really so? Oh, who will die? Who will day and night? You have to... So why not you think about Bhagavan Gauranga? Yes, very good. What? Whichever is good. Whole day, Hare Krishna, Hare Bol. This is good. Or you can say, My Lord. What? Okay, I become sadhu. <laughs> I don't like to become. He took. He took admission in course. He took admission. He lived. Not complete. And coming to join with our Bhakti Vedanta Madhav Maharaj. And from then onward, going seva from heart. From heart. Seva. Our North of Bhakti Bharti Maharaj, Madhav Goswami used to say, I am getting two disciples. Whole seva. Bharti Maharaj, Bharti Maharaj, Maharaj. Show responsibility. All different kind of, you know, seva, all. Regarding construction and very important issue, regarding construction legal, then our Bharti Maharaj, and all general aspect of the mart, all responsibility, he was the in charge. All seva. Secretary almost. No prasadam time, no resting time. Madhav Goswami Maharaj, it was the standing instruction, it was the standing instruction of Madhav Goswami Maharaj that Krishna Vallabh cannot come to take prasadam. He feeling shy. 
he feeling shy to take in front of public. So better, Madhu Goswami giving instruction to one disciple, you can go daily and give prasadam. If you go and put the plate of prasadam, that prasadam can stay, he cannot take. You can open the plate of prasadam, serve him, you say you sit and take, then he can take. Madhu Goswami, if you put the prasadam in his room, prasadam can stay, he cannot take. Up to five o'clock, afternoon. Better you can go, Prabhu, you leave, come, come sit. It is the instruction of Gurudev. This way give Prasadam, then you can. Now you understand the gravity of his seva. He was supposed to take permission from writer's building regarding cement. Cement, you know cement? Construction, that time cement was very rare. Tito Maharaj is going to take permit from minister. <clears throat> Some devotee is speaking. Aha. Now almost 11.30 over. Why not you wait half an hour? Why not you wait half an hour? After that, you can take prasadam. 12 o'clock can go. Well, as you like. Vaishnava speaking. He is doing some seva there. Immediately Tito Maharaj is coming. Krishna Vallab. You are not going as yet? Become very shocked. Not speaking, that some devotee is speaking, they you take feeling shy. I'm going, I'm going. Immediately run. He feels shy to speak with Gurudev. Krishna Vallabh, I told you to go 11 o'clock, 11.30, you are not going? I'm, I'm going, I'm going. Just running. At present, people can fight with Gurudev. He never used to look at the eyes of Gurudev, always down. He never used to look, he never used to look, he never used to look at Bhakti Vita Mahadeva Goswami. Whenever Gurudev was talking, looking down, yes, what to do? This kind of humble attitude. If Gurudev speaking, if Gurudev speaking, Krishna Balla, you can call. Bharati Maharaj, uh, that's a North Prabhu. You can call him. You can do what thing? From down, down you can say. What you can say? From down you can say, Hey, Krishna Das, Maharaj calling. Krishna Das. He is not speaking this. So humble attitude, no? Vaishnava should not be, you should not call that way. He is coming up. Maybe Bharti Maharaj now, I mean, North Northam Prabhu, third floor, is going up. He knocked the door, very slowly. Very slowly, not that, like demon, da, da, not. Prabhu, what happens? Why you come? Gurudev calling you. Gurudev calling you. Very slowly. humble way. Could you please go? Gurudev calling you. I can never forget in my life how much humble attitude. My Gurudev used to say, like Tito Goswami Maharaj, I have never seen any <laughs> so humble attitude. Even with me, when talking, very humble very humble. <laughs> One day, a long ago, my, anyway, I am speaking some scattered incident. Because if we go on series, so many, one book will be there. One day, <coughs> by the desire of Guru Maharaj, I wanted to change my base. I mean, Brahmachari, Samal Krishna Brahmachari, now I wanted to take base. All other people thought, Samal Krishna must be going to take sannyas to preach. We cannot allow him to take sannyas. They make him politics. But in the meantime, I wrote one very sweet letter. To Guru Maharaj, very sweet letter, English, English. So the ordinary layman cannot read. Like a spy. I read one, write one letter, very sweet letter, to Guru Maharaj through one devotee. So that nobody can suspect. Some, some devotee can go in favor of me. Maharaj Samuel Kirsu send one letter to me. Give the letter to me. Guru Maharaj keep inside. When the room is closed, Guru Maharaj read the letter. And going to know whole incident. 
Then I go, I say, Maharaj, what, what base? I know they are going to oppose me, they cannot give me a sannyas. But I myself was ready to take white base. They don't know. I wanted to make them foolish. I wanted to make fool of them. They couldn't expect that Maharaj can take white base. Yes! I wanted to take white base under the guidance of Sanatan rule and preach like Bharti Maharaj told, you took white base, but you are doing the responsibility of an Acharya. Many times too. I am not qualified by Bharti Maharaj too. I am acting as sannyas. All my speech, activity like sannyas, but white base. I am very lucky. Who is going to carry one danda? Who can take trouble? <laughs> Better I can give danda punishment to my heart, and uh, body, speech and mind, internally. Let people speak all rubbish. So I took, and I took base in Rasa Purnima, Vipralamba, Vipralamba Khetra. Bhakti Mahan Thakur, Bhakti Mahan was speaking, Purushottam Dham is the topmost Vipralamba Khetra. Because Gorang Mahapur doing Vipralamba Bha, Ha, Krishna, Radharani Bha, I took there, Guru Maharaj was there. Rasa Purnima day, whole night, Guru Maharaj not sleeping, I am not sleeping. Anyway, I don't lose time to speak. After taking this, I am the only person. And last, I took. Last, no, maybe somebody, some more people took, I cannot remember. From there, Srila Bhakti Valla Tittya Goswami Maharaj is the first person. Because Bharti Maharaj was not there, he was in Puri. Hey, he was somewhere else, in Vindavan or Hyderabad, where I cannot remember. So, Tithu Goswami Maharaj, was the, he was the first man with whom I meet, wanted to meet. I took this base from Guru Maharaj, Guru Maharaj joking with me so many things. Today, <laughs> I say, what is the meaning of this base? Guru Maharaj speak me and joking with me. After that, night time I catch train and morning time I reach the Shatish Mukaji Road, Calcutta, Bhakti Valla Tithogasi Maharaj. I wanted to meet with him, but Rishikesh Maharaj used to love me. He was the Secretary of Finance Minister. Not today, 25, 30 years back. After that, he leaves service and joined Mat. But previously, he used to serve for Finance Minister of Writers Building. Finance Minister. He used to love me very much. <clears throat> I told Rishikesh Maharaj, can you arrange my meeting with? Well, it's very easy. You take bath and took prasad after that. Now Maharaj is busy, I can take you in the night time is very good, practical. Nobody can come. So I enter very, very secky, very secky. I'm seeking. I enter the room. Maharaj, look at Samuel Kishnu, white base. Samuel Kishnu, white base. He should take sannyas. Why white base? He should preach. I say, Maharaj, I have no quality to preach. I am a fallen soul. You can preach. I am beside you. Maharaj, after that, giving so much advice to me, I was putting one question, like foolish. Because that time my age was not mature. <laughs> anyway, I was asking, Maharaj, in to I, was, I can remember still today, in totally opposite condition, in totally adverse condition, how to do Krishna Bhajan properly. Mara laughing at me. Mara speaking, you know everything, but still asking. Actually, those who are doing Krishna Bhajan, they think everything favorable. They don't think negative. I was sure. I know, I heard from Gurudev. Still I could act. Tita Mara giving the answer. Actually, those who are Krishna Bhajan, those who are doing Krishna Bhajan, they don't take anything negatively. They think of positive. So why you are thinking? He used to give me seva, not now, after taking base, when I was Brahmachari. Very often, very often, very often, very often, our Rishikesh Maharaj, the in charge of Chaitanya Gaurima at Calcutta, he is the in charge. He is the disciple of Bhakti Madhav Goswami. Very often he used to ring. That time there was no mobile. 
this tokka tore tokka tore tokka tore this you know online or you can ring can can this kind of phone <laughs> now you are putting hello idiot <laughs> you are this time Rishikesh Maharaj very often used to ring to our mat and speak. Very immediately you can send Samal Krishna, Tito Maharaj, need one seva, immediately. Okay, today I am sending. As Samal Krishna, after taking position, you run, Tito Maharaj calling him. I was very lucky. I was very lucky. Most of my time used to stay in Chaitanya Gauri Mat with Bhakti Vala Tito Gauri. And whenever he used to come with Guru Maharaj. Most of the time, with Tita Maharaj, Isikas Maharaj, Bharati Maharaj, all the time, most of the time, because my place was there in Calcutta. Now I have so much facility. I can compile the book and straight away I can set, send my soft copy to Delhi. They can print and send me Kriya, but that time no, no facility. Tita Maharaj speaking, actually, Samal Krishna. Uh, Apniki, he always to speak apni, man honor. <coughs> Could you go to airport? Some devotee coming to meet with me. He like to take initiation. Yes, why not? You can go. He used to give one placard, you know, one paper there. Your name is your, your name is Navin Krishna. I searching you from airport because I don't know who is who man coming. I put the placard. Your name is here, I am searching for you. He is going to meet me, foreign devotees. And I was lucky, in the middle way, when the car driving, in the midway, we used to speak Harikatha. So in the middle, midway, they are all half mold, half mold. Before meeting with Tito Mahara, they are already mold. When I am reaching temple, before Gorpurnim, Tito Mahara is in Sabha, in assembly. Tithuma discovered some, some, Shamal Krishna coming. Okay. Everything okay. From Sabha. He is in Sabha. Assembly. From Sabha. Everything okay. No disturbance. That's okay. This way, I used to get Seva on behalf of my Guru Maharaj, on behalf of, you know, Tithu Goswami Maharaj. I am very lucky. Now, those who are the member, they cannot confess. Of course, I don't like they confess me. Seva is always secret mood. Seva is always there with secret mood. I don't like to get honor and position. Let them fight with me. Let them make a group against me. Let them do. I am depending upon the mercy of Bhakti, the Madhu Gosima, Bhakti, all of Tittu Gosima, Bhakti, you know, Bhakti, Big and Bharti Maharaj. I like to speak so many things. But every year, when this kind of Tirobab can come also, I am discussing today all new topics I can discuss about Maharaj. Today, I can pray unto the lotus feet of Srila Bhaktivala Tito Goswami Maharaj, my Guru Path Padma. Please bless me. Please bless me. I am facing countless problems in my life, but I am not fed up. Please, you save me. You guide me so that I can reach my goal. Nitya Seva. This is the prayer unto the Lord Sweet of Bhakti Vala Tithukashi Maharaj. I will have to stop my Harikatha here. Though I, don't, uh, though I don't like to stop. So you should remember the sloka I started with. Bhavad Vida Bhagavataha Tirthi Bhuta Swayam Bhavu. Srila Bhakti Vala Tithukashi Maharaj is himself a pilgrimage. Because Bhagavan sitting inside his heart. I can discuss how different problem can came in the life of Bharti Maharaj Tito Maharaj. How people wanted to abuse him, them, insult him. Even some of his godbrother wanted to speak that he has done woman association. So in the life of pure devotees, this kind of problem always coming. So it's not a big issue. Bhavat Pida Bhagavataha Tirsi Bhuta Swayam Vibho Tirsi Kuruvanti Tirthani Santasti Nagada Vrita Bhavat Pida Bhagavataha Tirsi Bhuta Swayam Vibho Tirsi Kuruvanti Tirthani Santasti Nagada Vrita Vancha Kalpatur Vasikya Pasindu Bhavaj 
पति तानं पावन भविष्यन्ति 